ิดเลือดไปรับเพนเราจะสตาร์ทยืนปริ้งเอเดียเท็กซ์กับบุตรแท็บเอเดียยูแคนอัลโซในเท็กซ์ดีคัลล์We can choose the opacity of the background, and you can also choose it to fade in and out. Text will go as long as the clip. So before you put the text in, you should put a split in the video. And everywhere you want to put a text in, you should put splits in for the time that you want the text there to remain. You have to have it green or blue, sorry. I know. So let's count the seconds. So I'm at 28 seconds there. So I'm gonna text for 10 seconds. So I'll go to 48 seconds and I'll put a split. And now I leave the cursor inside there. Tap the bottom menu. Text. You can also, you know, choose the way that you want it written. <laughs> to make your, to make your background bigger, leave a line before and after, and that'll make your background larger. To get the bottom to equal the top, you will have to return it twice. I found. So we'll go again. Pick our color as black. I'll go blow brush. The background is green. You can choose its op 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 opacity, so it'll pull your background up and down. You can choose its overall opacity as well for the scene, and you can make it fade in and fade out. So you'll see. And then the fade out. At the very beginning, you can either do a text or you can put in your title, which will give you a full black screen. And you can make that as long as you want by dragging it. So it'll make that nine seconds. With that background, <coughs> you can pick the color of it. So we'll go with the orange. You can take your title. If you hold on to it, you can move it to come up anywhere you want it to. And you can also extend its length.
you can speed up segments up to 10 times speed and you can also slow them down to 0.1 speed to 0.1 speed so that they're playing slow motion That's your speed. You can turn the volume of a segment down. You can also fade it in, fade it out, and turn it off and put something over the top. So in this segment, you go on the screen below, the menu below, and you can insert media, text, effects, music. So we'll insert some music. And we'll go with chill. You can import music and you can get music off iTunes. Right, I don't know. Now as the video is playing the sound will cut out and the music will start playing. You can also, while it's blue, to get it blue you just highlight it, just touch it with either your finger or I like a pen that's a bit more accurate and easier to, to control. So there and you hit the speed and you can increase it 10 times. So that's one speed. And what you can do is 1.1. So for a 10% increase, you'll be surprised how much it changes the song or the music. We'll slow it down. With the music too, you can also, um, while you highlight it, split it, so you can speed up, slow down different parts of the song, or track, you can zoom in, so you can really pull out different parts of music, and if you get creative, you can copy, duplicate, so, so for instance, I like this portion of music right here I can split it there and then I can duplicate three or four times and so with that first one you can speed it up to regular speed the second one you pull it back and speed it up or back down or you know and you get the next one on top of it you can layer them so they're over the top of each other. Mm. 
You just gotta have a play with it and see what you think. <clears throat> Obviously, you can go a little bit crazy. I found with trying to make music or adjust music or things like that, then the smaller the adjustments, 1.1, 10% or 20% increases in the things like that tend to be okay. Speaking of the snippets, with the music, you can split portions of it take that portion and you can reverse it so it plays backwards you can do that to the whole song if you like you get the idea Music's finished. Back to the original sound of the, the film. My pencil needs a charge. If we can take this portion, we can reverse it so it plays backwards. It's going to take too long. <clears throat> With this snippet, it goes from five minutes five seconds to five minutes, six point nine seconds. So Only a small snippet. With this segment here, I'll show you your filters. So, in the segment, you can pick different filters. Give you different effects. You can also pick the uh, opacity um, and pull it down so it affects only half strength or you know, 10%. I don't really use them that much. So, anyway, the other thing you can do, uh, you can adjust all the different you know, parts of your uh, snippet just like a filter would, but you can do it individually yourself uh, to cause the effect. So then come into that cropping. Use your fingers to pinch and squeeze. And that'll crop your video down to size. It'll only do it for that segment that you're into. Film this vertically with the iPhone. And because it's set up into a different setup into landscape at the beginning. So yeah, cropping. You can make it as big or as small as you like for that section of video. The other thing you can do is you can animate it and you enable the Ken Burn effect. So you can zoom in, pick a portion for your starting screen, and you can turn it, tilt it, whatever you'd like. Pick your end screen at the end of the that segment. And we'll just go to full screen size. Then you preview it. 
and you can make that full uh, the screen do a full rotation or wiggle there's all sorts you can do with it so if you can start screen you can pick the segment there you can put effects on it in that segment so there's a few different ones, these are new, so I've only just put them in recently I'll give you a quick preview Vintage, Vintage 2, so we're going to transform which is the next one along, so you can take the segment We've got a small segment here. We'll split that. It's got a bit of small segment there. I'm going to transform. You can flip it or mirror it, the picture. You can mirror it upside down and you can rotate it. So there's some effects. And if you take small snippets and you can edit as long as or as much as you like yeah, you can get very creative with it and you're not limited with a pen too like don't think that having a pencil is a be all and end all um, I just happen to want one for drawing and sketching and things like that so and it's handy for the editing you can still do all this with your fingers I just got big fat fingers so. In this snippet, we can, uh, you can animate it. We'll enable the can burn effect. So, from the first screen, we can pick it out and turn it. We can pick the end and we'll put a couple of twists on it and then we'll do the preview. In this segment, background, uh, add effects, add voice, add sound effects. These are all your different sound effects. Then you get a cartoon, a boing, a high boing, and you add that. And you can make that as loud or as long as you want. You can duplicate it. So there's doing, doing, doing. All sorts of effects. You can do voice recording and you can copy it, 
reverse it, do all the other things that you would normally do with the rest of the filming or snippets. The other thing you can do is you can extract so you can copy the audio from there just hang on to it and then once it turns yellow you can drag it wherever you like and then it's a copy See again so you can notice it. So that's actually the sound from there to there extracted. And you can take that sound and match it up. So you can take a voice recording or a previous recording of a different snippet and overlay it of somewhere else. recording If you want to increase or decrease the snippet, simply hold the edge and drag it. It's a background, so vertical or backgrounds when you're using your uh, animation or transform. <laughs> 